If you're over 60, there's a silent change happening inside your body right now. And most people don't even see it coming. You wake up, maybe you feel a little weaker getting out of bed or your arms feel thinner than last year, but you chalk it up to getting older. Here's the truth. What's happening is called sarcopenia, and it's not just about losing muscle. It's about losing your vitality, your metabolism, your protection against falls, and even your blood sugar balance. Muscle loss after 60 isn't just gradual, it accelerates. You could be losing up to 1%, 2% of your muscle mass every single year without realizing it. And the scary part, you don't have to be bedridden or inactive for this to happen. It creeps in silently, just from the natural shifts in hormones, nutrition, and movement patterns that come with age. And once that muscle is gone, your body starts to burn fewer calories, store more fat, and lose its ability to bounce back. Uh, think slower healing, poorer posture, less stability, and a much higher risk of injury. But here's the good news. This isn't permanent. You can reverse this process. You can actually tell your body to stop breaking down muscle overnight. But first you have to understand what's behind the breakdown. Most people think muscle loss is just about not working out. That's only part of it. The bigger drivers, hormonal shifts, poor sleep, low-grade inflammation, and blood sugar instability. Your body isn't getting the signals it needs to build and repair. It's running on stress and fatigue. And every night you sleep, it's breaking down muscle instead of rebuilding it. But the right signal, a very specific combination of nutrients and timing can flip that script completely. And we'll get into that in a moment. Before we do, there's something else that's important. Muscle isn't just about strength. It's a survival organ. It controls your metabolism. It stores glucose. It even regulates inflammation. When you lose muscle, your immune system suffers, your brain slows down, and your energy tanks. You're not just getting weaker. Your entire body is becoming less efficient. And you don't feel it all at once. You just notice that you're sleeping more, moving slower, and struggling to bounce back from everyday tasks. And here's something that most doctors won't tell you. Your body is always listening to what you do before bed. That window between dinner and sleep is one of the most powerful times to either repair muscle or lose it. That's because your nighttime hormones control growth, inflammation, and fat storage. If you go to bed stressed, undernourished, or inflamed, your body turns on the breakdown switch. It catabolizes muscle. But if you go to bed with the right signals, the body enters an anabolic state. It starts rebuilding. That's why this next part matters so much. Let's talk about what's really robbing you of your muscle mass. And it's not what most people think. It's not age. It's not just inactivity. It's cortisol at night. The stress hormone that's supposed to be low while you sleep, but for many people over 60, it's running high. Why? Because of stress, blood sugar crashes, inflammation, and even light exposure. And when cortisol goes up at night, your muscle tissue becomes fuel. Your body literally starts breaking it down to convert into glucose. That's how stress silently eats away at your strength. Now picture this, you had a long day, maybe you skip protein at dinner, you're a little wired from the news or your phone, you get in bed, but your body isn't relaxed, it's alert. That alertness, that's cortisol. And while you're trying to sleep, your body thinks it's in survival mode. It won't build muscle, it won't release growth hormone, it won't repair anything, instead it breaks down. And by the time you wake up, your strength is a little lower. Not enough to notice in a day, but give it a few months, and that's where the fatigue, the weakness, the flabby arms, and the sluggish metabolism start to show up. What's worse is that high nighttime cortisol blocks your ability to burn fat and store muscle at the same time. You can be eating all the right things during the day, walking regularly, doing light strength training, and still be losing muscle just because your hormones at night are out of sync. It's not your fault. No one talks about this, but your body was designed to repair at night, not fall apart. And that repair process is triggered by something simple a drop in cortisol, and a rise in growth hormone during deep sleep. But it won't happen if the body is running on stress chemistry. There's another problem, low blood sugar at night. When you eat too early or skip protein or don't feel properly before bed, your blood sugar can crash. And guess what your body does when that happens? It calls on cortisol again to bring sugar levels back up. And it pulls from your muscle tissue to do it. It's a double hit. 
poor sleep plus a metabolic stress signal equals overnight muscle breakdown. But here's the fix. Your body doesn't need extreme workouts or heavy lifting. It just needs to feel safe and fueled before bed. That means no blue light. That means a small protein-rich ritual before sleep. That means calming your nervous system so cortisol drops and muscle-building hormones can rise. That's the real key to stopping muscle loss after 60. It's not a gym. It's not a supplement aisle. It's a shift in your nighttime environment, both hormonally and nutritionally. And the best part, you can start tonight. There's one thing your body absolutely needs before bed if you want to stop muscle loss after 60, and it's not intense workouts, it's not a pill, and it's not a fancy supplement. It's a specific combination of nutrients that sends your body a very clear message, it's time to repair. When you give your body this signal before sleep, everything changes. Your muscles stop breaking down, growth hormone kicks in, inflammation goes down, and you wake up stronger, not weaker. The fix is simple, a bedtime ritual made of protein, minerals, and sleep triggers. Let's start with protein. After 60, your body becomes less responsive to dietary protein, which means you actually need more to trigger muscle protein synthesis, not less, but not just any protein. What you need is about 15 to 20 grams of a bioavailable protein source that your body can actually absorb. Think collagen peptides, whey isolate, or a plant-based protein with all essential amino acids. Most importantly, you need leucine, the amino acid that flips the muscle building switch. Just two grams of leucine before bed can make the difference between muscle loss and muscle gain overnight. Now here's where people go wrong. They eat a carb-heavy dinner at 6 p.m., skip any protein before bed, and then wonder why they're feeling softer, weaker, and more fatigued each week. You need that nighttime protein hit. Why? Because that's when growth hormone spikes. And if your body doesn't have amino acids available, it won't rebuild muscle. It'll start scavenging your own tissue, but when you give your body leucine-rich protein at night, you're giving it the raw material to repair. You saying, here, take this, not me. Now let's talk about magnesium. This is one of the most powerful underused sleep and muscle preserving minerals for people over 60. Not just any magnesium. You want magnesium glycinate or magnesium threonate because these forms are well absorbed and directly affect the nervous system. Magnesium helps relax tight muscles, calm the mind, lower cortisol, and support deep sleep exactly what you want before bed. It also helps regulate insulin sensitivity, which is key to avoiding those blood sugar crashes that trigger muscle breakdown during the night. And if you really want to amplify the results, add in a splash of tart cherry juice. Just one ounce. It's a natural source of melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep cycles, Plus, it has anti-inflammatory compounds that reduce muscle soreness and joint stiffness. Just don't overdo it. A little is plenty. When you combine all of these protein with leucine, magnesium glycinate, and a drop of natural melatonin, you create a powerful uh, anabolic state while you sleep. That means your body shifts from breakdown mode to repair mode. You're not just preventing loss, you're promoting growth. And the beauty of this ritual is that it's simple. You're not relying on willpower. You're not forcing anything. You're aligning with your body's natural rhythm. Think of this as your pre-sleep armor. It protects your muscle mass while your body is in its most vulnerable state asleep. And unlike stimulants or daytime fixes, this approach works with your biology, not against it. The muscle tissue that's being repaired tonight is the strength you'll use tomorrow for climbing stairs, staying balanced, lifting groceries, or just standing tall. And here's the best part. This entire ritual takes less than five minutes. You don't need a gym. You don't need to overhaul your entire diet. You just need to be intentional in that final hour before sleep. So tonight, skip the cookies, skip the late night TV, and give your body what it's been missing, the signal to rebuild you can take all the right supplements, eat the perfect bedtime protein, and still miss the mark if your sleep environment is working against you. That's because rebuilding muscle after 60 doesn't happen during exercise. It happens during deep restorative sleep. And deep sleep is fragile. Your body needs the right conditions to shift into recovery mode. The problem? 
most bedrooms today are biologically stressful, too much light, too much heat, too much stimulation, and they're robbing you of the one thing you need most, growth hormone. Here's the deal, growth hormone peaks during deep sleep, usually within the first 90 minutes of falling asleep. This is your prime recovery window. But the moment your sleep is shallow, disrupted, or delayed, that growth hormone surge gets blunted. That means less repair, less muscle preservation, more fat storage, and a slower metabolism. The good news is you can fix this without pills or sleep med. You just have to make your room feel like nighttime to your nervous system. Start by lowering your room temperature. Keep it between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Why? Because your core temperature has to drop in order to initiate deep sleep. If your room is too warm, your brain stays active and cortisol doesn't shut off. Cold rooms trigger melatonin release, reduce inflammation, and tell your body it's time to shut down and rebuild. Just that one shift, turning the thermostat down, can boost your growth hormone naturally. Next, eliminate blue light at least 90 minutes before bed. That means turning off screens, using night mode on your devices, or wearing blue light blocking glasses. Blue light hits your retina and shuts down melatonin, and no melatonin means no sleep depth. Your body thinks it's still daytime and cortisol stays elevated. When cortisol is high, growth hormone stays low, and you stay in breakdown mode. Dim the lights, skip the scrolling, and let your brain sink into a slower rhythm. Another key, quiet. Even low-level background noise, like a TV running, traffic outside, or hallway noise, activates your stress response. And when your nervous system stays alert, your muscles don't rebuild. If you can't eliminate noise, use a white noise machine or earplugs. Your brain needs to feel safe to drop into the kind of sleep that triggers repair. Now let's talk about your pre-sleep rhythm. Your body loves consistency. Going to bed at nine o'clock one night and one o'clock the next throws off your entire hormonal cycle. You need a wind down ritual that starts at the same time every night. Maybe it's a warm shower, maybe it's light stretching, maybe it's journaling, but whatever it is, it has to signal one thing. I'm safe, I'm done, it's time to restore. Uh, that psychological cue lowers cortisol without needing supplements. And if you really want to take it to the next level, add a magnesium soak, a simple Epsom salt bath. Just two cups of Epsom salt in warm water helps relax your muscles, boost magnesium levels, and sedate your nervous system naturally. This is especially powerful for people who wake up stiff, achy, or tense. A warm bath before bed followed by a cool room creates the perfect contrast, warm muscles, cool core, and that combination is incredibly effective at promoting deep sleep. One more thing, get the light out of your bedroom. Even a tiny amount of light can disturb melatonin and suppress growth hormone release. Use blackout curtains, unplug unnecessary electronics, turn off hallway lights. Your bedroom should feel like a cave, quiet, cool, and dark. That's the sweet spot for anabolic recovery. Because here's the truth, your sleep is either working for you or against you. It's either building muscle, regulating hormones, and boosting metabolism, or it's quietly eroding all of it. And most of the time, you don't even know it's happening. But once you take control of your sleep environment, your body responds fast. You start waking up stronger, more energy, less stiffness, better mood, better recovery. And that happens before you even pick up a dumbbell is a little known trick that can supercharge your nighttime muscle recovery and it only takes five minutes. It's not a workout. You don't need to sweat. You don't need weights. What you need is gentle targeted movement right before bed to activate your muscle memory. And the reason this works is simple. Your muscles need a signal. When you give them even light stimulation before sleep, you're telling your body, these muscles matter. Don't break them down tonight. The science behind this is something called mechanotransduction. It sounds complicated, but it's not. It's just a fancy way of saying when your muscles experience pressure, tension, or contraction, even light ones, they send signals to your cells to preserve and build tissue. It's the body's way of responding to demand. And this process works even if you're over 60, haven't been active in years, or struggle with joint pain. You don't need intensity. You just need consistency.
We'll try this. Before bed, do wall push-ups, just 10 reps. Then hold a light isometric squat against the wall. 20 seconds is enough. Follow that with some resistance band rows or glute bridges lying in bed. These movements activate large muscle groups, your chest, legs, back, and hips without straining your joints or raising your heart rate. In fact, they help relax your nervous system. And that's the secret. These movements aren't stimulating, they're calming and yet they still send the right message to your muscles. You're not trying to build new muscle during these movements. That happens during sleep. You're just flipping on the metabolic switch that tells your body, we still use this tissue. Don't discard it because that's what the body does. If you don't use it, it assumes you don't need it. And the first thing it gets rid of, muscle, especially overnight, especially if your body isn't getting the right cues before bed. Now, here's the powerful part. When you pair these movements with your bedtime protein ritual, even better. The gentle contractions increase amino acid uptake into the muscle tissue. That means more of your leucine-rich shake gets used for actual repair, not just digestion. And when you follow that with deep sleep in a cool, dark room, you've created the perfect recovery storm. Your muscles stay preserved, growth hormone does its job, and you wake up more resilient. This doesn't take time. You're already brushing your teeth and winding down. Just stack this habit on top. One set of push-ups, one wall sit, one round of bridges. You don't need to sweat. You don't need to change clothes. You just need to activate your muscle memory because your body is listening. And what you do in the five minutes before sleep can have more impact than what you do in the 50 minutes at the gym. Remember, this isn't about training hard. It's about aging smart. Movement is a language and when you move even gently your body gets the message stay strong stay functional stay alive and at this stage of life that's not just a workout that's a prescription for independence by now it's clear your muscle doesn't just disappear with age it disappears with neglect not intentional neglect but hormonal neglect nutritional neglect and environmental neglect and the truth is your body is still wired for strength, is still wired to rebuild. It just needs the signal, it needs the right fuel, the right rhythm, and the right rest. And all of that starts before your head hits the pillow. Muscle is not about vanity, it's about survival. It stabilizes your joints, protects your bones, balances your blood sugar, regulates your metabolism, and even fuels your immune system. When you preserve muscle after 60, you're not just staying fit, you're extending your health span. You're maintaining the ability to walk confidently, carry groceries, get up from the floor, hug your grandkids, and live on your own terms. And that kind of independence doesn't come from trying harder. It comes from aligning your habits with your biology. So here's your new bedtime formula. Fuel your body with protein and leucine. Relax your nervous system with magnesium. Create a sleep sanctuary that invites deep rest and give your muscles just a few signals of use before bed. That's it. No gimmicks, no grueling workouts, no magic pills. Just small, intelligent adjustments to your nightly routine that send your body a clear message. Preserve what matters. The shift won't happen overnight, but the message will. Within days, you'll start to feel the difference. A little less stiffness in the morning, a little more strength in your legs, better balance, more energy, deeper sleep. That's your body responding. That's your biology waking back up. And the more consistent you are, the more it compounds. You're not aging helplessly. You're aging powerfully. You're not breaking down. You're rebuilding wisely. And remember, it's never too late. Whether you're 60, 70, or beyond, your body still responds to the right inputs. It's still listening. You just have to give it the right signal. So start tonight. Drink your protein, dim the lights, move your body gently, and reclaim your strength while you sleep.